Hi there and welcome to another Sonic Academy video with me Phil Johnston. In this one we're going to be taking a look at our brand new product Node. Okay so the first thing I'd like to do is just walk you through the interface of Node. So we've currently got the plugin version opened and there is also a standalone app um, the plugin version is handy because it's already wired up to MIDI. So we're going to be using that for now. And I'll just take you through all the different areas and you can see what's what. So up in the top bar, we've got our undo and redo, always handy. We have a menu for loading, saving, initializing presets, importing waveforms, the manual, video tutorials and forums. We have our preset list where we can select our previously saved presets. We have an export menu, and in our export menu, we can set up multiple locations to store our exported wave tables. And you can also um, assign the length of those wave tables as different synths require different sample lengths. We've got our settings, um, and this will really only apply to the standalone app where you can set up your um, MIDI and your audio outputs. And then we have a notifications tab which will notify you of any updates. Then we have uh, a volume control on the right hand side. And the main window here is where we're going to be drawing our wavetables and they can be drawn into one of eight slots or frames. And then down at the bottom we have our input, input keyboard and we have an option for saving some custom shapes that we can drag in and then we can save a current wave table or a current shape into this folder. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is draw a very basic saw shape, the most fundamental of shapes in synthesis as it contains the most harmonics. So we double click to create nodes. And we can play our keyboard and we should get a saw sound. And the very cool thing about node is um, we've got real time changes happening here. So we can modify our nodes and you'll be able to hear the different different uh, wave forms changing as you move them. Um, and that's pretty cool. Um, it really give, gets you familiar with what changing wave shapes can sound like. Thin things out, make things fat. And then we can also copy waves. And this is uh, where we can modify a second wave. And then when we use our, sl our slider, our frame slider, we can slide between two frames. And what it is doing is animating any of the node changes. So any of the changes to the node is being animated from frame to frame. And we can continue this process. We could do some sort of pulse width type thing. We can make that more extreme. Go right out to then it'll go to zero because we've nothing in the next frame. So we've basically built our first very simple wave table. Um, so there's a few things we can do from here. If we wanted to save an individual wave shape to use for later. We can click this icon. We'll call this thin saw. And likewise we'll do the same for this one. We'll call this fat saw. 
call this PWM so and now that we've saved those shapes in our browser you can see our new shapes have been created there's our thin saw our fat saw and our pulse wave saw these will be arranged alphabetically so that's a basic overview of node in the next video we'll delve a bit deeper and look at some single and multi-frame export thanks everybody for watching commenting and indeed liking we really do appreciate all the support we get here on our sonic academy youtube channel so if you find this video super useful please We'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.